So this video is about the Sharpie method and why you might want to start doing it right now and in 2021 as a new window tinter. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Wayne from Faith the Black. I appreciate you guys checking out all the videos and subscribing and hanging out on the live stream. If you're new to the channel, you like window tinting, you're learning window tinting, or you just like to see car stuff, hit that subscribe button and smash that bell so you're not missing any new videos because I got a lot of content on the way for you guys. And this video, like I said before, is about the Sharpie method. Now, I did not create the Sharpie method. I did not invent the Sharpie method. I actually got this method from Ralph Van Pelt, his YouTube channel. Once I implemented into my window tinting um, method, it seemed like it was a game changer. It really helped me be a lot more efficient and helped me grab a lot less film than what I was scratching. And at the same time, it also keeps the blade off the window. It keeps the blade off of possibly cutting the rubber seals on a person's car. And you know what, back in the day, starting out as a new window tinter, I did that a couple times and now I do not do that. So one thing I'm gonna show you with this, helps you be really efficient. It makes you do one cut on the car and that's all you need. Now, even if you use like, let's say some scissors or your blade, even if you don't have a peel board, you can still pull the film up and just trim around with scissors on the sides or you can use your blade and trim really nicely if you're doing it on mobile or you're doing it outside. But if you have your peel board, I'm gonna take it over to the peel board and I'm gonna show you exactly what I do over there. So let's check it out. So basically, if you've never seen a window tint to use a Sharpie, you wanna trace your patterns. So you have the pattern. Then what you do, you roll it down, you cut the top edge and you take your pattern to the peel board and then you see exactly where your, your edges are to cut the film and then you'll cut right around that. Now, one of the things is you have to look at every vehicle. Um, Fords have really deep seals. This Chevy, the seal is even. Um, so it really lets you know how much you have to cut behind your edge, your Sharpie edge line. So follow along, I'll show you guys what I'm doing, hopefully step by step. Um, I might not be the best at explaining this, but if you have any questions, you can always leave them down in the comments below. So I am gonna take my Sharpie and run right along the edge of my seal. Now, some people think that black or silver, um, you know, you might wanna try different colors. Silver is really a lot easier to see. Um, the black, I've kinda got used to it. I found the black kinda lasts longer, so I always just use the black ones. But like I said, I trim the tint around my edge, right? So now, I'm gonna roll this film down. All right. So now that I got this film rolled down, I can see my top edge here. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna Sharpie the rest of it. All right, so now as you can see, I got this whole thing Sharpied out, right? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my blade, get this top edge trimmed. Now we'll go over to the peel board. All right, so now you see I got the film on the peel board. Now you can see exactly where my seal edge all the way around that window is. Now, this is where you can think to yourself to say, if it's a Ford, you know they're gonna have deep seals. A Chevy or a Dodge, the seal is, is really close. It's pretty even. Um, and back here, you can take like a tri-edge or some type of hard card and, and stick in between there so you can see how deep your seal is. Now, most vehicles I found to be maybe a quarter of an inch or an eighth inch over, you're fine. So that's one of the things you can think of to yourself when you see the Sharpie me method, you know exactly where your line needs to be. So with this, knowing that it's a GM product, I'll just probably go out here about an eighth of an inch. Trim right around there. I'll give a little bit more room because this can tuck back. Now this is where you think if it's a Ford or what type of vehicle you're doing, how far you want to be on this line. So knowing that this is a Chevy, I will just go about a quarter of an inch lower. So 
So this would be my pattern. I would raise it up, I would shrink it on the peel board, and then I'd be ready to go. Now, also, this Sharpie method works really good with back windows. If you're doing a really dark back window, you can lift this up and you can trace where the edge of the glass and the dot matrix meet. Or if you have a corner window, you can put this on a corner window and you can trace where that corner window is, bring your piece over here to the peel board, and also trim your pattern right here out on the peel board if it was a corner window. And just go right around the edges of that pattern and then you know that your, your film should be good to go. So I do this with little corner windows as well. I do a windshield, back glasses, roll ups. You pretty much can use a Sharpie method with any type of install. Now, I got one last tip for you guys. The tip I have for you guys is when you're tacking your film down, use your cleaning solution. The cleaning solution usually has a little bit of alcohol in there and it will help tack to the glass a lot better than your soapy slip solution. So I'll miss some cleaner on here. I'll tack this window on here. All right, and when you tack this down, using that cleaning solution will help this stick to the glass a lot better than your soapy slip solution that's made the slip anyways. So even when you double cut your pattern, spray your cleaning solution in between the two patterns, hard cut it down and it will tack a lot better so when you roll the window down or you're double cutting, your patterns aren't shifting and moving around on you because you know once they shift around, then you gotta figure out a, a new way to get everything aligned again so you make sure you're cutting, make sure you have spaces all around your install. So, use your cleaning solution, I use mine, Jaybird told me that, that he uses that as well, and I agree with him. I use that, it just helps so your patterns don't shift around when you're getting ready to prep for an install. So I always just use some scrap film to kind of demonstrate the Sharpie method. Um, I use it on visors, I use it on the roll-ups, I use it on the black light, I use it on the corners. If you look at any of my videos, I'm always using the Sharpie method. Um, I don't like to just trim the film with the blade right on the car. I like to do as much as I can do on my peel board. That's why I made videos on my peel board as well. So if you wanna see the video on my peel board, check that out. I'll leave a link to that, I'll leave the video right here. If you wanna see me double cutting, I'll leave a good video of double cutting right here, installing, and like I said, I always use the peel board. So I didn't invent the method, I just use it every time I tint. I think it's a really good thing to implement if you're hand cutting, if you're new to window tinting, especially for 2021. I know we have a lot of ideas and things we'd like to do for the future, uh, in the next year coming up. Uh, we're planning that already, even though it's only a couple months away, we're trying to hit the ground running for next year. So. Hopefully this helps you guys out. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up. Like I said before, smash that subscribe button, hit that bell so you not miss any notifications. And I'm telling you guys, I'll be back with more videos when I get time. Until then, stay faded. Peace. <laughs>